you should watch what you say. And you should watch what you write. You should watch what you tweet. You should watch what you retweet even. Because all of that comes back to you. So a person does not speak about the deen of Allah. It's halal. It's haram. It's usul and it's furu'ah. It's foundations and it's branches except that he speaks with knowledge. And he understands that which he is speaking with. And he has fiqh regarding that affair. And worse than this is the one who spreads the speech of those misguided ignoramuses. And they spread them, as the Sheikh mentions, through all of the modern methods of social media. That he spreads them so that the people can hear that kadib against the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yet he thinks that he's doing something good. He thinks that he's doing something good. Yet he's speaking without knowledge. So this is what you find, in, find commonplace and common currency in our times. Or that he may even put it into a book. Or he may put it onto websites. And spread that as if it is the deen of Allah. Yet nothing could be further from the truth. So all of this becomes as a source of misguidance of others. And whomsoever reads what he has written. And he listens to what he has said. And he too becomes misguided. Then the burden of that sin goes back to the one who began the misguidance. So you should, you should watch what you say. And you should watch what you write. You should watch what you tweet. You should watch what you retweet even. Because all of that comes back to you. You're an ignoramus who doesn't know anything. But you think you know. Why? Because of your hasad. And your jealousy. And you think that by writing or saying something, that somehow you'll be raised by the people. The people are not raised like this. Barakallahu feekum. Allah is the one who raises. And Allah is the one who debases. Not you. Not your Twitter account. Not your Facebook. Not your tongue. Rather with your tongue you only harvest that which will return back to you Yawm Al-Qiyamah as a burden upon your shoulders that you will not be able to carry Yawm Al-Qiyamah except that it and you will enter the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So fear Allah Jalla wa ala. Fear what you say when you speak about the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the sidq that is required. So a person carries the burden of others. The sin comes back to him and the harm come back, comes back to him. And his recompense is not success. Rather his recompense is the adab. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَفْتَرُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ لَا يُفْلِحُونَ Those who make lies against Allah, they will not prosper. They can have their short period of enjoyment. Then, then, then thereafter they will come to them as severe punishment. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in his book. This is what Allah has said. 